Okay, now we're ready to start um, actually making or putting our lasagna together. I have um, already got the ground chuck and the Italian sauce along with one can, one uh, regular size can of um, mushroom stems and pieces, one um, whole large chopped onion. Have got, got all that ready, got your noodles boiled and strained. And this is the mixture that we're gonna use. We're gonna use mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, uh, regular uh, pepperoni, smaller ones. And then this is your mixture of ricotta, cheese, and sour cream. And that's gonna be one of our layers. Okay, first off, what I like to do is um, take the pan, and I start in the bottom of the pan, and I put a layer of my meat mixture. And I just spread it out evenly over the pan to make sure the whole pan has some on it. Now what I didn't mention either when I'm making this meat sauce for the lasagna, I like to add just a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten it up. The brown sugar, like I said, it sweetens it up a little bit, and it's just something that I do. Some people don't, you can't hardly taste it. You can not hardly taste the sugar that I put in it, but it does make a little bit of difference, but it makes it good to me. Okay. So I got the meat in the pan like that all over. I'm not gonna add any cheese, but I'm gonna add um, some of your, uh, the lasagna noodles that I have already boiled and strained. I'm gonna make me a layer. That's how I'm gonna start it off. Right on top of the meat that I put in the bottom of the large pan. These don't have to all the way come to the edge, but I do try to get it all the way across. I used um, cooking oil, a little vegetable oil when I was boiling these noodles and salt to keep them from being so sticky, which it does help a little bit. Now I take um, my ricotta cheese this is a ricotta cheese sour cream mixture and I go over the top of my noodles. Make sure it's mixed up good because I want it um, mixed up evenly. And I just start layering stuff, layering all my ingredients. And I want to have enough so I kind of measure or gauge how much I'm using so I won't use too much and then I won't have any left for my other layers. I'm going to get it kind of even, it's going to spread while it's cooking. So if you ain't got like, a, maybe there's not a little spot not covered, it's okay. Okay, next I'm gonna add pepperoni. And I'm gonna go all over my pan with the pepperoni. And like I said, I add this to my lasagna. It's something that I do. It gives it a savory Italian taste. <laughs> you can use as much as you want or as little as you want. Or if you don't like pepperoni, you can omit it, but it, it does have a, um, make a difference in the taste. It's pretty good. Let's see, make sure we get some all over the pan. So that we, each time you cut into it or bite into it, you will get some pepperoni. That's why I get two of the three ounce packs. And the, the brand that I use, I, I use Hormel. No, that's like um, pretty good, pretty good flavored pepperoni. And so now I've got those pepperoni all over the pan, just about. I'm going to start with my cheese. First, I'm going to use a little bit of my mozzarella and cover that pepperoni. Okay, now I'm going to use some of my sharp cheddar. Make sure when you get your cheese, it's kind of like fine because um, the fine shredded, if you get the thick one, sometimes it doesn't melt good in your um, in your lasagna. Okay, let me put the camera over there and show how that looks. That's, that's our first layer. Now we're going to start off with another layer of our meat sauce. I'm going to spread that all over. Make sure we get enough. It's evenly spread. This is a pretty big pan. I would say this would feed six people, maybe more. Uh, like I said, I have boys, and I'm gonna serve this with a salad, and I'm gonna serve it with um, garlic bread. And it's gonna be like, uh, I hope it makes a whole meal, it's a big pan. Okay, now we got another layer of our meat sauce. Now I'm gonna start out with my noodles again. 
Like I said, they get kind of sticky. I can pull them apart. I put vegetable oil on them. So that's how I'm able to work with them. When I boil them, I put vegetable oil and salt. Remember to do that. Because if you don't, your noodles might be too sticky and they'll tear apart when you're um, trying to pull them apart. Okay. Here. How long was it gonna take to cook? Um, to make this like this? To cook. Um, um, 25, 30 minutes. But you don't put your oven too high. Now we're gonna do another layer of our um, ricotta mixture. Spread it kind of, make sure it's evenly. And this is probably gonna be my last layer of ricotta. That'll be two layers of it. That'll be good. So I'm gonna use everything in my bowl and I'm gonna spread it evenly. Make sure that when uh, you cut it, each slice of lasagna have this ricotta mixture. If you don't get it all the way to the ends, don't worry because in cooking it will spread. And the reason that I use sour cream and ricotta is because um, it gives it a richer taste when you add the sour cream to the ricotta. Ricotta is kind of a gritty cheese, and if you don't add um, if you don't add the sour cream. It'll be kind of um, like a gritty texture. I don't like that. That's the way I like to do mine. All right, now I'm going to um, add my pepperoni. Another whole layer. And I know it seems like it's time consuming. It's actually fun to do. And uh, when my kids were little, they used to help me. But now they're not interested in cooking, so it's just me. But it's still fun. I like making uh, lasagna. And that's gonna finish up my pepperoni. Put them all on the top. And I try to, when I'm making the lasagna, have evenly amount of cheese, uh, mozzarella, and sh sharp cheddar. And that's the last of my pepperoni. Now I'm gonna put some mozzarella. Mozzarella. All over. Oh, sorry. Better finish that up. And now my cheddar. there you go that's our lasagna and that is going to go in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and that'll be it and when i get finished with the results i'll come back and i'll let you know how it turned out and i'll show you a picture thank you